Iga Swiatek vs Coco Goff is the first semi-final for the Beijing Open for 2023. And both players have been impressive to get to this stage. Goff started the tournament as the number three seed and will take on Alexandrova in the first round. This was no problem getting through in straights. 7-5, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on Martic. And this was a battle with Goff having a fight in the third set Getting through in a long three-setter, 7-5-5-7-7-6. In the third round, she'd take on Kudamatova, who had just won a title last week. And after a close first set, Goff would win in straights, 7-6-6-2. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on Sakari, the number six seed, who'd been in some really good form lately. But this didn't matter, with Goff getting through in straights, 6-2-6-4, to advance to the semi-finals. Sviontek entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Tormo in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on Gracheva. And again, no problem for Sviontek getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-1. The third round, she'd take on fellow Polish player Lynette, who she'd actually never played before. However, this is no problem getting through in straight sets. 6-1, 6-1. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on Garcia, the number nine seed, who had started to play well over the last few weeks. And after two very tough first sets, Fiontek would run away with the third, 6 7 7 6 6 1, to advance to the semi finals. This were played eight times before, with Fiontek leading the head to head 7 1. However, Goff did win their last match in a close three setter in Cincinnati a couple of months ago and really gave Goff that confidence she needed to go on and then win the US Open. If Goff's going to win this one, she needs to serve well and be aggressive like she was in that Cincinnati match. I think a lot of people forget that that Cincinnati match was actually that really close. For some reason, it feels like that match was way more one-sided, but it was very close and it came down to the wire. In fact, Fiontek did lead the final set. Your Goff had to serve very well and get off to a really good start win that first set. But Fiontek's going to win this one. She can beat Goff, so Fiontek really needs to use that confidence and also use that aggressive game because she didn't accidentally win seven out of the eight matches they've played. This is going to be such a fun rematch. Of course, Goff coming back from that 7-0 deficit against Sviantec and finally getting a win. And how is Sviantec going to return after losing her first match against Goff? I'm going to go with Sviantec in three sets. I think Sviantec has got to rely on that head-to-head -head record and it's still 7-1. And I think people do forget that even though Goff has been really good lately, she has some tough matches and I think Sviantec will use that confidence because she knows how to play and beat Goff. But let me know in the comments below who's going to make the final.